It's week 12 of the NFL, and we have our best three bets for this Sunday, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandstandBetters.com and we give you three of our best bets for week 12 in the NFL. But first, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our NFL plays for the rest of the season. And while you're at it, smash that like button if you are ready for another fun-filled NFL Sunday. I know I am. So, without further ado, let's dive in to week number 12 and start with a matchup in the 1 p.m. Eastern time slot, the Chicago Bears and the New York Jets. Jets favored by six points in this one, and the over-under at the moment set at 38.5. Bears, they have now lost four games in a row, and with the exception of having fields continue to grow as an NFL QB, there's not really much else to play for for the rest of the season. Now, with that said, the last three games, they have only lost by a combined seven points, which just tells you how close this team is to maybe becoming a contender next season. Last week, we talked about the importance of fields to this offense, and it just continues as the weeks go on. He has now accounted for 60 percent of all yardage that the Bears have and 74 percent of all their touchdowns. Chicago is putting up points, nearly 22 points per game, but if they somehow could manage a passing game and get that going or started at all, they might be able to turn the corner to become that contender. So what is going on with the Bears passing game? Well, when they are actually passing the football, Fields struggles and that is putting it lightly. He's only completing 59% of his passes has eight interceptions to only 13 touchdowns. But honestly, the other problem is, was they have just given up on passing. They're last in the league with only 20 attempts per game and 128 yards per game. But to be fair, when you have the number one rushing offense in the NFL, why would you even want to pass the football? They're nearly averaging 200 yards per game on the ground. They have a three-headed monster of Fields, Herbert, and Montgomery, who have all combined for 1,800 yards and account for all the rushing touchdowns, as well as average 5.5 yards per carry. That might have to change this week as the Jets do have a top 10 rushing defense only allowing 109 yards on the ground per game and they haven't allowed a 100-yard rusher since week 5. So let's talk about these Jets because that is another team heading into this week that we might put in either the contender or pretender category because we don't know what they are at the moment. They're 6-4 and four, coming off a brutal loss in the closing seconds last week to the Patriots. They will be without Zach Wilson this week as he was benched following his comments at that post-game press conference last week. And now Mike White will be the starter White played last year a little bit in the middle of the season as he filled in for four games. He went 1-3 and three during that span and had a 66% completion rate, but he only threw five touchdowns to eight interceptions. Now, we don't want to speculate on if he's gotten better or worse over the last year, but we can assume that he hasn't taken huge strides to become as good as Zach Wilson. In situations like this, though, the Jets they're most likely going to want to rely on their Russian attack, but Brees Hall has a torn ACL. He's out for the season, and Carter is struggling this season, just averaging 35 yards per game. So, let Mike White sling the football around? Well, the Bears have a top 10 secondary and are holding opponents under 200 yards passing. So, what is our best bet in this matchup between a contender and a pretender? Well, first, which one is actually the contender? Honestly, the Bears offense with their rushing attack and their great secondary, they have allowed that Bears team to stay in games, and we think they've been the better-looking team so far this season. Remember, the Bears, in six of seven of their losses, stayed within one score. The Jets, they're averaging less than 20 points per game, and this week, Mike White is going to be their QB. Look for the Bears to utilize Mooney this week in the passing game early and give Fields the opportunity to use his legs late in the game. This one's going to be low scoring, and we think the Bears, whether win or lose, will keep this within one score. So with our first best bet of Week 12 in the NFL, we're going to take the Bears plus six over the Jets.
Now with our second matchup of week number 12 in the NFL, we're going to look at the Atlanta Falcons versus the Washington Commanders, also in the 1 p.m. Eastern time slot. Commanders minus four-point favorites here, over-under set at 40.5. And the Falcons come into this one sitting in second place in the NFC South after beating those aforementioned Bears 27-24 to last week. Just like the Bears, the Falcons rush the football first, and if they need to, they'll let Mary Oda air it out. Now, they are third in the NFL with 160 yards per game on the ground, and they have four guys that they can trust to rush the football well in Algier, Patterson, Huntley, and of course, Mariota. Those four have all but 94 rushing yards for the team. This week, though, they find themselves up against the sixth best rushing defense in the league is Washington, only giving up 103 yards per game on the ground, and they only gave up eight yards on 10 carries last week to Damian Pierce, uh, and they also have not allowed a 100-yard rusher since week number five. So let's talk about the Washington Commanders. They sit in last place in the NFC East, but they're six and five on the season, and they are a team that 100% could make the playoffs, especially with three games left against NFC East opponents. They followed up that Week 10 upset over the Eagles with an easy victory last week against the Texans, 23-10. And as we mentioned a few weeks back, this should be and is Taylor Heineke's team at the moment. Now, he's not a great QB, but in our opinion, he does a better job managing the game than Wentz ever could, and he can run the football and keep plays alive with his legs. Now, Washington's offense lately, though, has looked to run the football first. In fact, over the last three games, they're averaging 150 yards on the ground. Antonio Gibson, Brian Anderson, they're a great one-two punch, and that is going to continue if they can get great blocking up front for them. This week, though, look for Heineke to air it out just a bit more and find Scary Terry and Samuel for some big chunk plays as they do take on the fourth worst secondary in the league. On the road, they have actually been horrendous, the Falcons. On the road, their secondary ranks last in the NFL, giving up 300 yards per game passing. So what is our best bet in this NFC matchup? Well, Kyle Pitts is out after he suffered an injury last week, but honestly, that should not hurt the Falcons' offense as much as you would think it would because he wasn't being used as much. Mariota has liked to go to London for most of the season, and on top of that, they are, as we mentioned, a run-first offense. The Commanders and Heineke are going to have a coming-out party this week, passing the football, and the Falcons' secondary is going to allow this team to throw all over the field. Now, we understand why the total for this game is so low because both of these teams like to run the football, but this week, we do think the Commanders flip the script and throw the ball vertically down the field on a bad secondary. The Falcons without pits, though, they're still going to be feisty, and we like them to keep this close, and it should be a fun fourth quarter to watch. So with our second best bet of week number 12, we're going to take the Falcons and the Commanders over 40 and a half points. Now, before we get into our final pick for week 12 in the NFL, just a reminder to head on over to grandstandbetters.com for all of our NFL week 12 plays. Links below in the description. We look forward to you becoming part of our family real soon. But we do have one more best bet for week 12. It's on Sunday Night Football, and it's between the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles, six and a half point favorites at the moment, over under set at 46.5. Packers coming in this matchup on the brink of last place in the NFC North after losing last week to the Titans in Lambeau. Aaron Rodgers came out this week. He said he has indeed been playing with a broken thumb since week five. But honestly, and Rodgers would probably agree with this, that really hasn't affected him much in his passing game. He still has over 2,500 yards passing and 19 touchdowns. But injuries have been a problem as a whole for this team. Not so much with Rodgers' thumb, but receivers who have been in and out of the lineup all season long. And just everyone in general this week, there are 18 players listed on the injury report. And while most of those should start this week, Dobbs is out again, and there's always another chance of another wide receiver maybe not suiting up. 
Rodgers is Rodgers, though, and he will find anyone he can. He has thrown 10 passes or more to nine different receivers on the team, and seven of those have caught touchdowns. This week, though, they go up against the second-best secondary in the league, with Philly only giving up 178 yards passing through the air. So the Packers should lean on that rushing game, something they should have been doing all season long, a bit more with Jones and Dillon. Jones, despite only getting 13 carries a game, is still rushing for 5.4 yards per carry. And as we saw a couple weeks ago against the Cowboys, if you use him, you can win. Philly doesn't have the worst rushing defense, though, but they're not the best, as rookie Pierce had a field day against them a few weeks back. Speaking of the Eagles, they come into this matchup having only lost to the Commanders on the season. They sit atop that bunched-up NFC East, and this team has done a great job using a balanced attack all season long, and they just find ways to win, including that victory last week over the Colts, 17-16, to where they trailed 17-3 heading into the fourth quarter. And it all starts with their franchise quarterback, Jalen Hurts. Hurts really coming into his own this year. 68% completion rate, 2,400 yards, and 15 TDs. But most importantly, he knows how to protect the football. He only has three interceptions on the season, and he has only had one interception since week four. Four. When you add in Sanders, Gainwell, and Hurts' ability to run the football, you get the fourth best scoring offense in the NFL. But this week, they are going to go up against a top five secondary, and the Packers, as much as they have struggled at times this season, have really leaned on their defense to keep them in games. Although last week, Tannehill had a field day against the Eagles, throwing for 333 yards and two touchdowns. The good news, though, is if you are an Eagles fan, your offense is so well-rounded that this week, if you can just figure out what is working for you and stick with it, you should be able to beat this Packers team that is only putting up 18 points per game. So what is our best bet for Sunday night football in week 12? Well, the important word here is should. The Eagles should be able to beat this Packers team this week, but can they? The last time we saw the Eagles in prime time, they were getting beat down by the Commanders and Heineke. And this time around, they're going to actually have to face a huge quarterback name in Aaron Rodgers. This game, though, it's going to come down to which defense can actually make the plays and come up with turnovers. Well, the Eagles, they have the best turnover differential in the NFL, and they take away the football on average two times per game. The Packers, on the other hand, one of the worst turnover differentials in the NFL. And because of that, with our final best bet of NFL Week 12, we're going to take the Eagles minus 6.5 over the Green Bay Packers. Well, that does it for us here at Grandstand Betters. As always, sit back, relax, enjoy Week 12 of the NFL, and we will see you live right here on YouTube for Browns Bucks Sunday afternoon.